Everyone's kind of said exactly what I would say, so uh, you, you can all go to lunch. No, I'm just joking. It's all right. Um, look, we stand for so many things in the Heritage Party, which I think are positive principles that we really need because our country's lost its way. And we have leaders in our country and around the world that talk consistently and incessantly about freedom and democracy when actually they're destroying freedom and democracy. And this is an inversion of what's right and an inversion of what's good and evil, good and bad. They're turning things upside down and on their heads. And they're just doing what people have done in the mainstream political parties for decades, if not the last century or more. So we have, after the wonderful Queen's funeral on Monday, which I was touched by, and I think a lot of people were touched by, and really surprised by, because all these wonderful traditions are coming out again that we've never seen in our lifetime, as Ben said just then. We live in a wonderful, fantastic country, and we should be proud of our country, and we should be teaching our children to be proud of our country. And we have all of these wonderful traditions and wonderful foundations that we have, and we saw a lot of that on Monday. I really did love the Queen's funeral, although it was a sad occasion, they preached our Christian heritage around the world, and actually I think it was said that two-thirds of the people in the whole world actually watched that service, which was a wonderful thing. But the very next day, Liz Truss, who is now our new Prime Minister, I think she's, what, the 15th Prime Minister that Queen Elizabeth had, was off to New York, and she gave a speech in the United Nations General Assembly. Okay, fair enough, everyone is meeting in the General Assembly, all the leaders of the countries go there. But she keeps banging on about freedom and democracy. But she was in the last government which imposed this tyrannical lockdown on the country. And she is the one, uh, she was in the government as the foreign secretary with these people who are completely overturning democracy with all of these new laws that they're trying to bring in to create a tyrannical totalitarian state. So I don't know how anyone could stand up on a stage with a straight face and say that our values are freedom and democracy when they have just been trying to undermine them consistently for the last two years as we've seen over lockdown, but over decades and decades before that. Anyone who was in the government that imposed the Coronavirus Act, that voted for that and then voted to fire care home workers from their jobs and terrorise them and saying if you don't get an experimental injection in your arm, you won't be allowed to go to work, you won't be allowed to make a living. Anyone who says they're standing up for freedom is an absolute hypocrite.